So how Russia's location influences its agriculture. Um, Russia is made up of about 6.6 .6 million square miles, which is a roughly 1.8 times the size of the continental United States. So if you think the United States is big, Russia is almost double that. So there's a lot of room to, uh, to, to work with over in Russia. And of this total amount of land, about 75% is capable of being cultivated. And what that means is about 75% is even remotely able to either have livestock or to grow something on it. Since a good portion of Russia is just tundra and very cold and you can't really do much up there. Um, since 75% actually is capable of having stuff grown on it or used for agriculture, um, actually only about 10% of it actually is. So there's a lot of open space in Russia um, that, that could potentially be used for agriculture in the future. Um, about 60% of the land, of the cultivated land, is used for crops, while the other 40% is used for livestock. So it, it's a, a bit more of a crop heavy country. Um, many, the, the thing with the crops is they can be stored longer, which traditionally go better for their long winters. They, uh, they stock up during the summer and save it during the winter. And to further break down the stat, about 50% of the cropland is used for wheat. So a good portion of the land in Russia is used just to grow wheat. Um, this is kind of the backbone of their diets and is a very important crop for the country. Um, the main wheat, there are the main crops from this area are wheat, barley, beets, potatoes, pork, beef, and cabbage. So if, if you look up any different kinds of, of Russian cuisine, um, many of them often involve all, or excuse me, um, at least one, if not multiple, of these crops grown within the country.